So I think historically it's been very difficult. I mean, uh, there's been no approved drug uh, um, and uh, people have, I think, used whatever makes sense uh, from a clinical standpoint, you know, uh, I think there's been a lot of, frankly, a lot of just continuation of ruxolitinib because there is nothing else approved. I think that's happened quite a bit. Uh, and people have used hydroxyurea to control counts, maybe danazole to improve hemoglobin, uh, maybe uh, thalidomide, lenalidomide, you know, the imids, uh, which used to be uh, very popular before ruxolitinib, those uh, uh, have been used. Uh, and then, um, I mean, I would say those were the, those would be the main things prior to the fedratinib approval. And now there is fedratinib uh, that's kind of broadly approved in myelofibrosis. So it's an option uh, to be used after ruxolitinib. And then another thing that has some evidence is, you know, to stop ruxolitinib for a while and bring it back. This is called re-challenge. And that has some evidence to support it as well. So I think these are the things people have used prior to Fedratin.